guys and welcome to episode 5 of COVID-19 Cocktails. So today um, I'm going to be doing my husband's take on a Bloody Mary. So a typical Bloody Mary is basically vodka and tomato juice and a bunch of different spices. So um, he's recently got this seasoning um, sent over from America. You don't have to use this, but this is... Um, what he's got his idea from so you could probably use any sort of um spice seasoning or um even just plain salt uh so the first thing we're going to do is um line the glass so i'm going to dip that in a bit of lemon juice which we're also going to be using in the cocktail so this is a spice mix that i just showed you and I've just put it into a bowl so that you can easily collect it up on the top of the glass. There you go. Makes it quite pretty. Get that out of the road. Um, and the amounts that we're putting in this, we're going to be putting in two shots of vodka and then four shots or, or double the amount in tomato juice which has already been measured out over there so i'm going to start with the vodka so when you're putting this in you want to be really careful not to hit it on your rimmed glass oops so there's the vodka and then it's already so this is 120 mils so 60 mils of vodka and 120 mils of tomato juice pop that in there now, he just likes a dash of the Tabasco, so we're going to just pop a dash in there. But what he really does like is a lot of um, the Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. So we'll dump a fair bit in there. hope that's not too much. Um, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of this lemon juice that I've still got left over. Oops, there's a seed in there. Oops. All right, so top your glass up with ice. Make it nice and cold. So you want enough ice in there till it pretty much fills the glass up because you're not you're not topping it up with anything else and you don't want your ratio of vodka to tomato juice to be too far out now as with all bloody marys you have to have a, a celery um swizzle thing so stir that up and there you have it my husband's take on a bloody mary i don't know if i really want to sip this because i think it's going to be too spicy for me does smell nice oh my gosh that is so hot it's really i don't know how anyone could possibly enjoy that oh <sighs> all right so i might make another japanese slipper for myself then and um We'll tune in next time and I will do a, might do a pina colada. Okay, well, like, subscribe, share around and we will see you next time for pina coladas. My mouth is still on fire.